Introduce this is Dr. Vic, and the point of this video is to introduce you to labor force rates and how to calculate them. So I have a problem from the website, and the best way to go about you'll see these problems another couple of times, once in the lab and once in the exam. And the way to go about these problems is use this breakdown that I provided for you on the web to kind of get an idea of what the hierarchy of these numbers are. So the the question is, um, you know, suppose the U.S. has a population of 314 million. Well, our 314 million is right over here. So our population is 314 million. Now we know our population is either in the labor force or out of the labor force. And so the next part says 155 are in the labor force. So this box would have 155 million. So that means how much, how many are out of the labor force? Well, 314 minus 155 is 159. So 159 are out of the labor force, 159 million, okay? Um, going on in our problem, we learn that 95 million, 9.5 million, excuse me, are actively looking for jobs, okay? So if you're actively looking for jobs, that means you don't have one, right? So that's our definition of unemployment. So over here we have 9.5 million, okay? So they're in the labor force, they're looking for jobs, right? So what we have to find out is if 155 are in the total labor force, 9.5 of them are unemployed, how many are employed? Well, it's just 155 minus 9.5, that leaves us with 100 and 45.5 million, okay? So going further, we find out that 354,000 recently gave, in, gave up looking after, uh, looking after a year, okay? So where do they go? Well, that's the definition of discouraged workers, all right? So less than a million, so it's not, it's gonna be, you know, since we're putting all this stuff into, you know, simpler numbers, we're dropping the millions. We have point, point 0.354, okay, less than 1 million that are discouraged workers. The definition of discouraged workers is they're now out of the labor force because they gave up looking, so they're not unemployed anymore. And then finally, back to our problem, um, 8 million would like to work part-time, work part -time, but they want to work more. So part-time, but what more? So that's 8 million right here, okay? So we have all of our boxes filled out, right? So now we can go over here and start calculating the rates, okay? So the labor force participation rate is what? Well, labor force participation is just LF divided by POP. So here's LF, here's POP. So you plug into your calculators, 155 is LF divided by POP, 314, okay? And whatever that is, that gives you that answer. The out of the labor force rate is what? Well, here's out of the labor force rate. It's the OLF, 159 million, divided by POP, 314. So out of the labor force is 159 over 314. Okay, plug that into your calculator. What is the percentage? The employment to population rate or employment rate is what? Well, where is employment rate? Well, it's right here, employment to population rate. It's E over POP. So here's E, here's POP. So 145.5, sorry, I can't write very good with this, over 314, okay? So answers one through three all have 314 on the bottom of this fraction, on the denominator, okay? Now here is where, that should be straightforward, you should never miss that in the lab, in the exam, when you see it again, which you will. Now we get to the official unemployment rate, okay? That's this number right here. It's also what we call the U4 rate, things like that. That's unemployment over the labor force. So it's not POP, it's over the labor force. So it's 9.5 over 155. 9.5 over 155. Okay, you plug that into the calculator, see what you get. 
Next, number five, the unemployment rate. So what we see is the unemployment rate has two problems. It's not talking about these people who are underemployed, they want more, and it's not talking about discouraged workers. So we'll do two simple adjustments to, for, to make the unemployment rate a more uh, representative number uh, telling us what's the problems with the, the true workforce. So we adjust for discouraged workers, all right, so that's the adjusted employment rate for discouraged workers. So it's DW right here plus UE right here over the labor force right here plus DW. Again, so we add DW two times to the top of the fraction and the bottom. All right, so you'll see UE over labor force, that's just the same unemployment rate. What we're doing is we're adding discouraged workers to the numerator and the denominator. So you simply go, you take this next number, I'll change this color now. We're just basically going to take this, oh, come on, take this, and we'll do 9.5 plus 0.354, okay, over 155 plus point three five four and what we'll see is that this rate once you type that into the calculator this rate will be higher than the official rate okay and then finally finally we want to adjust for underemployment okay so again you start with your basic unemployment rate 9.5 over 155 and we're just adjusting for an, uh, underemployment. So it's part-time, this group of part-time workers that want more, plus UE, that's the new numerator, over labor force. So we just add this on top. Okay? And that's what you get. So you plug that into the calculator, and then the answers, as I gave on the web, are this. Okay? So you'll see that this is how you work out those calculations. This is the actual answers to them right here. Hope that helps Best of luck on it. Let me know if you have questions.